Hey, hey everybody, Milton Davis here. Um, it is August um, the 23rd to be exact, and um, we're live. I just came here today to um, get you guys, um, tell you a little bit about, um, well, I'm going to start over again because it says that I'm just going live here. But anyway, hey everybody, Milton Davis here. <laughs> we're uh, live on uh, August 23rd. And it's been a while, um, mainly because of the fact that uh, I've had issues with um, my camera and with Facebook, but now I've got that all worked out, so we're good. Um, I'm using a different computer as well because my other computer is not compatible to um, the cameras and I'm having some stuff going on there, so I can't really see the uh, chat like I did um, on my other computer. So um, I'll apologize if I don't answer any questions that you post up. I'll have to scroll down and look at them. So, but anyway, we've got a couple of things going on today. The main thing is that we have an unboxing. Um, I've become addicted to unboxings, so um, so you got to bear with me on that. But this is a book that I've been waiting for for a long time, and I know some of you have been waiting for a long time. Um, you did the pre-orders for it, so I'm just going to go ahead and open this box up, and then we can do what we do. Give me just a minute here. And this is a heavy box, so no. let's see what we got in here. Hope there weren't any issues, because <laughs> if they are, y'all are going to see them. <laughs> Just a minute. Here we go, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it has arrived. Black Rose is here. <laughs> I can hear the applause, so thank you very much. But hey, this is a special book. Um, this is actually my first, my first historical fiction book, um, and it's not the historical fiction book I expected to write. Um, I actually was gonna, um, I thought I was gonna write something that would probably be about some different time periods, but uh, a number of things brought this book about. One was that there had been a lot of talk, like a, a lot of talk lately by. Um, uh, Yasuke, um, a black samurai, uh, which was on my mind at the time. And then I saw this wonderful Im image by uh, artist Amber Denise, and it just sparked my interest. And I said, hey, I want to write a story about that character. And the result was Black Rose. As a matter of fact, Amber Denise did the cover art. Um, excellent, excellent cover art. And um, just a synopsis of the story. The story is about a young woman by the name of Kessie, who is uh, Swahili. Um, and she's a merchant. Um, Y'all, might, that might sound familiar to some of you who've written, or who read books by me before. And uh, she finds herself in charge of a young Japanese prince girl, a princess, uh, Danuja, which she has actually um, taken into her protection because of an incident that happened to her family. And the book talks about the the whole uh, situation of her taking uh, Danuja under her wing, uh, in, incidents that happened in East Africa, and and them having to return to Japan as well. It's a very exciting book. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Um, like I said, I know some of you have already ordered it, and as you know, now that we have the copies in hand, your copies will ship out tomorrow. Um, if you haven't ordered the book yet, and you are interested in, in ordering, ordering it now, you can just go to my website, um, mvmediaatl.com. It's actually on the front cover, so you can actually click the link, place an order in, and I can send it out to you guys. Again, this is like Black Rose, my first historical fiction novel, and I'm very excited about it. So, what else is going on? Well, as you can see here, I got my playing the odd stuff on. Um, we're still working on that project. Uh, we've actually got the basic animation done. Um, the uh, animation was done uh, by Paul. Uh, Paul, I forget Paul's name, but Paul did it for us anyway. And now the process is going to be able to take that animation and transfer it into Unreal. And then we can really start fine tuning it and bringing these uh, and bringing the animation up to par for so to be ready for you guys by January. Um, it looks really great. Um, I know you're going to be excited about it. Um, we had uh, um, some, the, the voice work was done um, by Paula Wilson. And uh, we've had a chance to take a look at that and stuff. So, um, and we and incorporated into the initial animation. So it's really coming out great. You're going to be, I know you're going to be excited when you see it. And hopefully this will be the beginning of a series of animations by us as well. There's another animation project that we've got working right now that I still can't talk about yet. But um, I hope to be able to say something about it very soon. We're in the middle of the project. We're making good progress. There's just a few little, um, 
I's that need to be dotted and T's that need to be crossed before we can really come out and talk about it in, um, um, in general. But it's another thing that you guys are going to be excited about as well. It's something that we were working on that we didn't think was going to work out, but it has, but it is going to work out. So you know, we know you guys are going to see that too. So um, you've seen me mention it. Um, I will be attending Dragon Con this year. Um, I've got five panels, but what's really exciting to me is that we will be vending there. Um, I'm actually going to be sharing a table uh, with uh, Glenn, with Glenn Paris, and with um, Deidre Sneed, and we're going to have two tables there. And we're going to be basically uh, showing our wares and um, the Black Fantastic. Um, some of the stuff that you will be seeing there, of course, are my books. Um, you know, I already have two anthologies that have dropped recently. Um, Terminus 2, we'll have copies there. Although I don't know how many copies we will have there because Terminus 2 is selling very well. And much better than I expected it. Um, and so um, the inventory that I have is dwindling very quickly. So... Um, if you really want a copy of it, you may want to order it now because I may not have any copies by the time Dragon Con rolls around. Um, but yeah, I should have that there. Um, what else should I have there that I have here in front of me? Um, I should also have Spy Funk, which I do have a copy, I think, somewhere nearby. Might be in my bag here. Let me check and see. I'll be all that rustling there, you know. This is what happens when you disorganize. Yeah, here we go. Spy Funk. We'll have Spy Funk there. It's another. <laughs> Spy Funk is also selling very well, also. But I think I have enough inventory that I will have some when I do Dragon Con. So if you haven't purchased a copy yet, um, we will have copies at Dragon Con. Um, I also will be. Uh, there will also will be copies of other books at our table um, by the other authors. For instance, um, this is Glenn Parrish's latest book called. Um, Dragon's Heir, and it's a very interesting book. This is about this book is about basically about dinosaurs who have evolved into a humanoid species, and it's they evolved to a very advanced state, and they left Earth, and they came back millions of years later. And when they came back, they saw that another species had had evolved, uh, and it was humans. And so this book is an interesting um, is interesting story about. Uh, first contact between this evolved dinosaur species and humans. Uh, very imaginative book. Glenn is a great writer. He's going to be at the table. He has some other titles that are going to be there as well. So you're going to make sure you want to come by and meet Glenn if you've never met him before and get you some copies of Dragon's Air. I sound like I'm on like shopping network or something. Um, but there won't, <laughs> but there won't only be books there by me and Glenn and Dedrin. Um, I'm happy to be able to represent a couple of my author friends, um, one of them being uh, Nicole Kurtz, and I will have copies of Slay. Matter of fact, I will have hardback copies of Slay. Um, this is a black vampire anthology collection. Um, I have a story in here. Um, uh, Nicole has a story in here. Cherie Renee Thomas has a story in here. Um, it's a great collection of authors in this book and some great stories in here. So. Um, uh, you'll you'll want to get a copy of this book as well, so we'll have a few copies there. And last but not least, as far as my author friends are concerned, I will have two of my favorite books that have come out from the past few years: um, the Brothers Jetstream and Afro Puffs are the antenna of the universe. These are both books by Zigzag Claiborne. And if you have not read anything by Zigzag Claiborne, do yourself a favor and do that. Um, Zigzag has one of the most unique voices in speculative fiction today. Um, nobody tells a story about like Zigzag, and I mean some of the things and some of the ways he puts words together. Uh, is this book is funny and thought provoking at the same time. And um, I've read fair, very few books in the industry like these two books, so we will have copies there at our table. So you want to come check them out. And one more thing I want to talk about, and this is really cool. Um, first of all, thank you to those of you who have who invested in our um, Kickstarter for Changa and the Jay Lobbyist book two. Um, you know, you should have received your rewards by now, and I hope you're enjoying them. But there was one particular award reward that we had that we offered during the Kickstarter that was kind of unique, and that was. The Changa Safari treasure chest. <laughs> so, what's in the treasure chest? 
Well, let me show you. Um, you may have seen it earlier because Nerd Soul did a actual did a um, YouTube video when they received their treasure chest. So I want to show you what's inside because there's actually a little extra bonus in this one as well. And we will have 15 of them available during Dragon Con. So what do we have here? Um, we have a Jade Obelisk. <laughs> it's actually a Jade Obelisk keychain. And I'm going to take it out of the office so you can see it. It's a Jade Obelisk keychain that comes with it. Um, we have gold. <laughs> we have gold inside our box. <laughs> and one of the coolest things about it is that we have actually um, Changa and the Jade Obelisk book one and book two. So if you've been hearing about the comics and you've never read them before, when you get this treasure chest, you will get book one and book two. You will also get a copy of Changa and the Jade Obelisk, the book, which has the first three stories of the adventure, which is Changa and the Jade Obelisk. Let me read them out to you because I forget them. I should know on the top of my head. Um, a Certain Spice and The Emperor's Ransom. So those three stories are in this book. So you get all that. And you also get art. You get these out here. You get the Chang and the Jade Obelisk cover poster. You get the Chang and Safari cover poster. You get the Chang and the Jade Obelisk 2 poster. You get the variant cover that's done by Jason Reeves. And you also get the Changa Safari maps. So you get all this in the treasure chest and it will be available. So if you have if you're a Changa Safari fan or if you want to become a Changa Safari fan, you've got all this stuff inside. So um, suffice it to say, we're going to be having a very good time at our table. We're going to have a lot of great stuff. We're going to have other um, MV Media titles. We're going to have uh, Sorghum and Spear comic books by Devin Sneed. I'm um, just going to have so many things going on and, and I got to tell you I'm really excited about this. One of the things I've always wanted, wanted to do was to um, um, vend at Dragon Con and now I'm, I'm going to actually be able to do it and I think it's going to work out. I think it's going to be great. Um, I think you guys are going to enjoy what we have. Um, so you know come on by our table when we're there. So uh, that's that's about all I wanted to cover today. Once again if you ordered Black Rose it's here now and we will be shipping them out tomorrow um if you want to get in on that on that shipping and that shipping run tomorrow uh go to my website www.mvmediaatl.com and place your order today that way your book will be included into that uh in that shipment um, i'm going to scroll down a little bit see if i see any comments or anything like that um i don't so um that's it um, hope you guys are able to uh, come check us out at Dragon Con. Um, I hope you get a chance to check the books out, the, some of the books that we have available. Um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, you can also go by our Playing the Odds website, which is playingtheodds.us, um, see what's going on. We do have a GoFundMe that we're running to continue to create additional episodes of the, of the animation after we do the first episode. So any support you can throw that way will be great as well. And that's about it. Um, Y'all take care. Have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Peace.